Oh, we're good. We're, we, we are. <sighs> a week. I didn't even talk about a week. What's up? What's poppin'? Let's get it. Let's go. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Tiara Michelle, back with another video. And today, I'm here with another vloggy vlog. So, you guys, first things first, I know I can't just get on here and just start talking about everything without the obvious. Yes, your girl straightened her hair. No, I'm just kidding. I did not. This is actually a headband wig. This is my first time ever wearing a wig. But, you guys, yes, today I have another vlog. And I am so excited to share it with you all. I will be showing you guys some more clips from my recovery process that did not make the last vlog. You'll be seeing it in this one. And then you guys will be seeing how I went and I finally got out and actually did something besides being on bed rest. So this was my first time actually going out and enjoying Korea, actually seeing Korea. So it was definitely me having to take a leap of faith. I was just really worried on exploring and going out there not knowing how I got sick. I do have an amazing word for you guys today from his word and I think it's gonna be really good. So the verse today is coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8. It reads, We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. I loved when I read that, you guys. I was like, oh my gosh, wow, that is, that is something amazing. God knows that we are going to go through troubles. He never said that we were never going to go through troubles and that everything was going to be easy. Even Jesus was put in the wilderness. Things are going to be difficult and we are going to feel like everything is, is just closing in on us, which is pressure. And it comes to things that are overwhelming us. Things are going to be closing in on us. We're going to feel like there's so much pressure and so much tension and, we're, and it's going to be on every single side. And we're going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't deal with this. But just know that God is holding these, holding these troubles that are on every side of you. He's holding them, right? He's, he's allowing them to be there to allow you to grow and to allow you to, to trans, to uh, allowing it to transform you, but also allowing him to receive all the glory to show that these problems are not defeating you. They're not killing you because of him. It's because of his grace that these things have not defeated you that they have not crushed you he is not going to allow these things to defeat you i know that you're going through something right now trouble does not always last right it will come it'll be there for a moment but you will get through it with god he is not going to allow those troubles to fall down and crush you god loves you i love you guys and i hope that you all enjoy this amazing vlog that i have today you guys so i'm kind of happy so I ended up staying here for another day, by the way. Um, so now it, tomorrow will officially be seven days, a whole week that I've been in the hospital. But I'm getting released tomorrow and I'm going on recovery after that. And long story, we'll talk about it when we get there. But I'm excited because my nurse just came and literally I think this so far it has been my favorite nurse. There was one other person that I was like, no, that's my favorite nurse. But no, this one right here the best she's so nice and sweet but um yeah she came and gave me applesauce because some of my levels are low like potassium is low and she's like here just eat some applesauce <laughs> i'm like yes she's like i don't know if you like applesauce and i'm like i love it so yeah the only thing is i don't have a spoon but this is a great little snacky snack oh look at my mask it's dirty but i'm released i'm out of here Oh, it hurts so bad to walk. It hurts so bad to move. It's like really hurts. I can't even pick up my own backpack. Oh my goodness. But she's good in the car right now. I haven't felt pain, but like now, like my stomach just feels very, very sore and very like, it just feels really, really delicate. And me walking, it like also impacts the way you know, I walk. So as y'all can see, in the mirror, that's how I'm walking. Worst part of my day is having to take this medication. It is one o'clock and it is time. 
So I have to get ready, y'all. I have to get my water ready and everything. So I have three medications I'm taking today. Do I have to take this pink one? No, for the heck of it. I'll use, I'll let today be the last day I take this pink one. But, okay, ready? I'm gonna put y'all right here because I kind of need, I need both lights, okay. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna put y'all right here. See how fast I have to do that. All right, and then I gotta take this little blue one. And then I gotta take this pink one. Great way to get water intake in. Just have to take a pill. That's it. Next one won't be until seven o'clock tonight. All right, just finished with my appointment. I'm walking extremely slow. I was told actually not to do any unnecessary walking. And here I am. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary because I gotta get back to my room, but pretty much like, you know, don't leave my room just to go, oh, I wanna go to the store and shop and like that type of stuff. But um, yeah, I had some applesauce. You know, I had a banana this morning and my intent was to eat applesauce with it. And I couldn't, I was so, so full. I was like, oh my gosh, oh, I can't eat. So anyways. Oh yeah, I did wanna let you guys know that I lost a lot of weight. Um, I don't know fully how much I was, but I do know before I left, um, before I left the States, I was definitely like picking up weight. I was 13 to 15 pounds that I lost and being sick for one week. It's crazy. Your battery's low. <laughs> And I am here today. I'm on a going on a yacht. And I have one of these glasses because your girl really wants to make sure that I get enough footage this time. I went back and I looked at like all of my videos from Europe, Spain, and all that stuff, and I was so upset with myself because I did not vlog anything. I just showed a little bit of stuff because I was so afraid of what people were gonna think. But I have to realize that this is a blessing for me to be out here today and it doesn't matter what people think or say about me. So with that being said, I have on these glasses to help me kind of block out what's moving around me, people moving things around. I did cut my hair so I'm like in a very awkward stage right now with it. It's super, it looks super short. It's still pretty long though, but it just looks super duper short. I came out here doing a yacht ride it should be like an hour and 30 minutes is what it says. So I feel like I have a beard. <laughs> so my fit for the day, I have on this curl cap, which really like you wear like with your ponytail, but I'm wearing it like this. And then I have on these shades that I got from the PX. And then I have on this mask that I think just makes your outfit so ugly. I have on this Vera Bradley crossover bag with this California shirt. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen before. Some shorts and then my Air Maxes. Okay guys, I think the tour is about to start. So hopefully I will see you guys when we start the actual tour and when we're out on the water. So I'll talk to you guys in a few.
wondering. on the boat, which was really nice. Now you guys are wondering We've why been I'm on here probably for like an hour. Yeah. But it could be a little bit longer. I don't remember how long we've been on here because I didn't check the time before we left. It's hot out here. And the thing I brought my sunscreen out because I feel like my arm is burning. Because we're headed like to an island, I think. I don't really know what the name of the island is. But yeah, we're headed to like some island and then after that we have lunch. Um, and then some other stuff that I'm not familiar with. Idea where we're going now. I guess to go eat. Not sure. All right, guys. So I'm trying to find. I guess there's like a restaurant up here, but I'm not gonna eat anything because as you guys know, I got sick last time, and I'm too afraid to eat. But I'm just gonna go and take a look, see what they have. Basically saying I have been a little afraid to start eating things here here because I ended up getting really sick and I ended up in the hospital because of something I ate so I just got a waffle and hopefully it comes with some ice cream today I am on a yacht trip pretty nice yacht trip I really enjoyed myself this is a cute little like chair um, the really good thing about living in Colorado is I learned that just, you have to get out there and explore. Sometimes you may have to do it by yourself. But you know, constantly praying to God that He sends me friends that are that love Him just as much as I do, and um, we can have these adventures together. It's good. It just basically tastes like a croissant with ice cream and like honey. It was so weird trying to go up there to get the food. I had no idea how to do it. And this one guy came up behind me. He's Korean. He just like lifted up the thing. <laughs> kind of as if to say like, it's not that hard. Oh my gosh, my ice cream is falling all over. <laughs> it took them forever to um, get my food. I don't know, like an hour and a half ago. Well, it seemed like that. Maybe like an hour ago. That's one of the things I hate about... I hate about being in a country that I don't even know the language. Because when you don't know the language, right? Then like, you... It's like you don't understand anything. You don't get what anyone's telling you. Like, their gestures and the way people are saying things are rude to you. Like, it's just really foreign. You know but it's not a big deal i'm walking out here right now and i see my group which is a good thing because i would have started freaking out if i ended up on the wrong side of the, of the way i'm on an island right now and i think it's called dang what's the name of this island What's the name of the island again? Nui Island. Nui? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, this is Nui Island, N-U-E. And it is so pretty, you guys. Really nice. Super pretty. <laughs> oh no, this is right up my alley. So 
I just made it back. Well, this would have been a cute hairstyle. Why didn't I think of it? I stopped and I got some Popeyes. Y'all, it has taken me a month to actually start eating out again. So let's talk about the trip. The places we went to, and then she said the city was called Ansam. The port that we were on was called Changu Port. And then the island was New Way. So the first place that we did was obviously that's when we got on the the yacht, Changu. And it was really nice. I didn't expect it to be like that. It wasn't boring. It was just like I obviously went by myself. The only thing about that that was just kind of annoying to me was... I don't want to get too into it because you know I don't talk about that on my channel anymore. You guys already know what that is. But basically you could just tell who is who the structure wise and working you know what i mean like who is higher up who's lower the higher ups just always talk about nothing but our job like there's nothing else that they talk about not about how's life where did you grow up like you don't ever hear those things so it was kind of annoying to have to hear that my whole entire day off i was like i didn't want to sit on a boat and listen to that all day it was a lot better once you know i just kind of ignored them it was really hard to eat because i wanted to eat like everyone else but having gone through what i went through a month ago i don't it's like my mind is not allowing me to eat food the way I want to eat food. But eventually we'll get there. Like I said, I cannot wait to start going out and trying new foods with you guys. Sorry that you guys literally only watched me eat a croissant. But then we ended up going to the island and then to a museum after. And my camera footage was no longer because I had used it all for the trip, for the boat ride. And for the yacht and I did not realize that we still had extra places all right you guys I hope you all enjoyed the vlog today leave a comment down below what has been your recent trip lately or at least the recent trip that you've taken that you've actually enjoyed and why you enjoyed that trip I hope everyone has an amazing day and I will see you all in the next video make sure that you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the word make sure that you guys comment down below what I just told you to comment Make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button and then also make sure that you are notified by pressing the bell button next to the subscribe button. Alright guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, much love, and may God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. I do pray. Amen. Talk to you guys later. Bye.